after spending what half an hour getting picking through all of the wood and getting all of the wood, I was just willing to just leave it there and just come on. Good morning there folks. I am still sick. I'm hoping that it goes away pretty soon because I'm getting pretty fed up with it now. I've had it since before Christmas. Uh, but it is the 2nd of January, it's the first Monday of the year. Matthew has still got the day off. So, what we are going to do today is we were up, we were supposed to like be on the road by 6, but we're a little on the late side. Um, we are going to Regina this morning because we're going to go have a little look around the shop, see what's, see what's out there. Um, I could do it with some new clothes, some new bras, to be honest. Um, and we are, majority of the time, we're obviously gonna spend in hardware stores. Because, obviously, we've changed this around. No, we're not renovating this. We are, uh, renovation-wise, we are concentrating on the bedroom. However, we just don't have any furniture, which is why crap is just getting left around because we don't really have any storage. So, we have, Pile together some furniture ideas in our brain, and what we're going to do is we're going to go buy the wood for it, and then let it dry out in the garage, and then build it. That's the plan. So then we should have some furniture in there, so we can put stuff on. Instead of it just constantly being in this area. Matthew's just letting the dog out, and then we'll get on the road. On the road again. Can't wait to be on the road again. We have a frozen trolley. It's very difficult to move. Home Depot, done. Um, we are not gonna go like clothes shopping or anything. We were potentially gonna go to the keg because Matthew's got like a, a voucher off, but he didn't bring it. Um, I don't think we'll go clothes shopping this time just because Matthew has quite a lot and I have a few and probably need to go like through them and stuff but we do need food or I need food because we've been up since 6 it's 12 and I haven't had breakfast yet but trouble is I don't know what I want food wise that's cold Chicken Grill Deluxe Burger, please. A BLT Chicken Burger, please. <laughs> We're home from Regina. Yeah. The only issue would be like going. Oh, Titanic now. <laughs> 
problem with having like vagina so far away? Is it like it takes? It takes. <laughs> Oh, laughing at Mr. Blobby, because we're 25. Yeah, the only issue with having like vagina so far away is you've got to get up early. And because it's so boring, because the rows are straight, it just makes you tired. Because I sleep. All I've, I've been in and out of sleep. I've been pretty much sleeping, you know, it's three hours there, three hours back. So you're, you're six hours driving. It's boring. You spend two hours shopping for wood. And then you come home, and Matthew's had a nap. Bear's also had a nap. I was social mediaing. Um, because we haven't really done much. It's time to go to the gym. The reason we went to Regina to buy wood is Matthew is promising to make four pieces of furniture out of that wood. And we spent $400 on wood paint materials so we can build four pieces of furniture. One of the pieces of furniture is on sale in Costco, except ours is going to be bigger. Yeah, it is. Ours is going to be bigger and not red, because I don't like red. It's going to be like dark, maybe like a bluey, steely grey. Or white, I don't know yet. But it's on sale for only 9 99 99 For just 9 dollars 9 dollars so you're going to build that so the TV can go on and then we're going to have a coffee table, a side table and then like a sofa table so there'll be a table behind the sofa that we can put like cups on and stuff. But anyway, in there. It's gym time. You can sleep and then we'll... So yeah, we are now going to go into the gym and then... We're going to be pushing that trolley. Matthew almost lost his... Uh, Excuse my language but Matthew almost went like... Lost his sh on the trolley. Almost. You you is you the word. you almost went like I don't full. Think almost. <laughs> you almost went like full home. Think of it. Think because of it. we switched our trolley out. You know when it's minus twenty eight and you get to the uh, Home Depot and you're like, perfect. There's the trolley there and they are the ones for the, like all the wooden stuff. Right, we need one of them. Let's get that. <coughs> And obviously because they don't have them inside, so I was like, we'll get it, it's a bit cold. And then I've got frost back in my hands. And then I get inside and then it starts to defrost, but one wheel wasn't defrosted, so it was stuck at an angle. So every time, and it's one of those rocking ones, every time it landed it would just jut off to the side. You got Kirsty just meandering in front and to the side and she's not helping and I'm just like, I can't do this. <laughs> so you told them that we're going to build furniture. I've told them now. But then you've told them what we're actually going to use this $400 worth of wood for. <sighs> We've just been watching some woodworking YouTube videos. And because you're sad. No, I was on the exercise bike. Matthew stumbled upon people making like scale models of their own house. I think it's cool. I think it's incredible. But I only think it's cool if you're renovating. Like, it's Which just... we are. Yeah, but like, so you can like move the walls around and be like, this is what it looks like. Let's take this wall out. You know, do that, and then you can see what it'll look like. Cause I, I, I need visual to visualize it. My imagination isn't good enough. A thousand dollar bandsaw, and I can make a model of our house. So it's eighty, 80 kg. <laughs> Thank you. 